Hello friends, this is Ganesh, how are you? And um, today we are going to see another quick reference on database table. It's a part 2. Part 1 we have discussed a few questions, what could be uh, come in the discussion area. And today we are going to see indexes Okay, from the table level. Let's get into the slides first. So different index. So what is index? Uh, very simple way is something to identify we need an index okay uh, very simple uh, or generic way every day we are doing as a page number of the book so it reference this chapter one is on page one chapter two is on 12 or 13 so it easy way to identify something through index so that is the idea of index so in database table also we have index every row has its own index okay so uh, if you come to an SAP level, so index in a database table helps to speed up the selection of the rows. So if you know the index is very simple, so it will easily get the data from the database table. Okay? But very technically, if you see, uh, for us, we are not going to see the index numbers. So index are in the form of fields. Okay, So index is a sorted copy of the selected database table fields. How you define the index based on that, it gets sorted uh, in your database table. So if you take Mara, it always sorted through the material number, right? And some fields, some uh, tables, you can have more than one index. So depends on that, it will be sorted. The database uh, fields or sorry, database records are getting sorted through index only. So the access of table rows are faster if you use binary search. So additionally, if you use binary search, if you have the index, so it will be more faster. So in a very basic way, it's going to be increase the performance through an index. Okay. And in index, you have uh, two uh, types. You can say primary index and secondary index. But in HANA, we have like full text index also, right? But uh, today we're going to see only primary and secondary. So primary index. So primary index is a unique index uh, constructor from the key fields of the primary key. Okay, what are the key fields? What are the fields you keep as a key field? Those are considered as primary key at the time of creating your table. If you're going to create a custom table and you decided three fields are going to be a key field, all the three fields are coming under the index, primary index. Okay, and it is unique. So you don't have or you cannot have any duplicate if you create a primary index. Okay. And maximum only one record exists in the table for each combination. It, it's same like whatever I explained. So there is no duplicate. So if you have only one primary key, only one that particular uh, field doesn't have any duplicate. It always have only one field, only one material is unique in the entire Mara table. Suppose if you have a table of uh, composite primary key, means you have followed by one more primary key, then the combination won't be repeated. So I have a plant and a sales org is a primary key. So 1000 and 500 is a sales org. So you cannot have again 1500. You can have 2500, you can have 1600. Okay, so the combination won't be duplicated. That's what they mentioned the maximum of one record exists. The table is scanned fully. If suppose in, in a var condition, in a select statement, you don't have a var condition or you have a var condition which is not specifying any index fields, what happens is it's going to create, you're going to scan the entire table. It's called fully scanned. Okay, the table is set scanned fully if no primary key field used in the selection. Suppose if it, there is any secondary index, if it is available, it's tried to go with the secondary index, otherwise it won't. So that's what, uh, while writing a select is always mentioning, try to write uh, in the var condition, all the, try to list out all the primary keys in your var condition to increase the performance, okay? Secondary index. So the name itself, we can at least understand is a secondary, it's not primary, it's a secondary index. So all the tables, most of the SAP uh, tables, they come with the primary. Sometimes they may also have a standard secondary index. Okay. So the understanding is a primary is not enough. I need a secondary index also for a few of the fields. So indexes basically go for the fields. So table has uh, three fields of primary index, but as per my business requirement, I'm going to use another field, which is not part of the primary index, but frequently I'm going to use in my select statement. So the customer can decide, okay, I need some more fields to be also added as an index. Those are coming under secondary index concept. Okay. So secondary index, it's improves the performance of database reads. Obviously index, the area is, is especially for the performance. So secondary index, 
I have few fuels that is not in the primary. I want to, I'm going to use the same. So I can use it. I can create some of the fields as an index instead of coming under secondary index. Especially this is performance is increased for the reads. So in the other way, you always think about update. If the table is going to update, if you have a multiple secondary index that will decrease the performance because in session, you have to update the uh, indexes also. Okay. So we'll, we'll further slides, we'll see more about it, but always remember it is increasing the performance of the read only. And it can have unique and non-unique secondary indexes can be created, but primary is always unique and the string, raw string and the flow data types are not allowed while creating your secondary index and a maximum you can create nine secondary indexes can be created. So every index can have n number of, not n number of because there are, there are some restrictions, some of fields, okay. In that level you can have nine secondary indexes. So each index can have some fields on it, okay. And a few more about indexes. <coughs> the namespaces is like Y or Z for customers j for partners and rest all alphabets are for sap okay and uh, an index should only consist few fields no more than four so these are recommendations i can say so if you have an index you're creating an index so three digit alphabet normally you give a name and inside you're going to add a field please keep a limited fields so not more than four on it okay and fields that are selected often and that have a high level of selectivity so always depends or think about it. This is going to be in the select statement. I'm going to frequently use uh, these fields. Then you keep those fields as uh, in the secondary index. Okay. Otherwise don't simply don't add any of the field in the secondary index. So before creating, just think about it and keep, uh, just check with the design, sorry, check with the business what actually they require. <coughs> and if, a field should not be included in index if the value is initial. So you may know the business requirement. Sometimes these values are going to be initial. So don't keep those fields as in the secondary index. Okay. And most of the table entries, I'm not saying always, most of the table entries is going to be initial. So better avoid those things. Okay. And no, note more than five index should be created. So again, these are recommendations. Okay. So better you keep limited level of indexes that that increase the performance especially for the other operation not in the read other operations so index can support uh, so can support the positive uh, select statement or the positive conditions equal and like index cannot support the not equal so you can just check the performance also how it performed with equal how it performed with not equal okay then yeah that's it that's it about more about indexes uh, hopefully this covers about what is index or the type of index and when actually we need to create an index i think that i covered right yeah this one so when and we need the secondary index okay so thank you so much for your time and see you in the next video bye